The other part of QVD is more efficient oversight. So instead of looking at everything the companies do, we need to look at what is relevant to their understanding of the process. And we are still in the process internally of figuring out what that relevant material is. Allie will tell you he went through an application not too long ago and it had so much information in it I knew we could have written books. And actually the information was consistent. So consistent. We really need to make some determinations of what we need to know that's relevant. Another area is critical quality attributes. We ask for critical quality attributes and we get almost everything. We need to read, the companies need to be able to understand what their critical quality attributes are and only address those instead of so many different things. Uh, also though, we see cost savings. If we can get where we want to get, get we see cost savings and efficiency for industry. We can incre increase efficiency in the manufacturing processes and do away with a lot of waste. We can allow for new technologies. We can facilitate, facilitate innovation. And last of all, have less compliance action. I have three offices in the Office of Pharmaceutical Science, which actually are in the process of implementing QBD. It's the Office of New Drug Quality Assessment, the Office of Biotech Product, and the Office of Generic Drugs. Now I'm going to tell you all three of them are doing it a little bit differently because they all have these sort of different regulations and products, the level of complexity of some of their products. So a biologic product is certainly not on the same level as some of the generics that we're looking at. But we're all three offices are have the same objective. So I'm talk a little bit about each office just so you'll know where we are. Uh, our office of